welcome to tice news insurance is something which the indians look for in everything that they get and they buy we have with us mr kamlakar the founder and group ceo of micro insure who has brought the technological revolution in the industry of insurance welcome to the show sir thank you very much uh, for calling me uh so in this episode of ties news we'll be talking about your startup journey and focusing on why you built this startup and what is the vision of your startup sir so the first question for you sir i have is uh wh- why did this startup came into being sir everyone has a eureka moment what was the moment that uh, put you across to start this uh, venture that you have sir okay let me tell you frankly i was I had no job here that is the reason why i had to do a startup so the last job which i was doing just before the pandemic was uh, i was the ceo of a large you know uh, financial services company for their insurance business so uh, 2019 uh, june uh, august i came back to hyderabad because i was supposed to be part of a health insure insurance startup uh, but unfortunately because of covid and other reasons that startup could not uh, materialize so i was left with no opportunity then i started searching for a job because that was my core thing for 30 years which i had done but unfortunately nobody wanted to take me in because i was already in a very senior role in previous organizations so they found it uh, very difficult to accommodate me so left with no choice i said okay at the age of 51 or 50 i just crossed 50 at that time so uh, you know i thought okay what can i do because if i don't earn anything then uh, i'll not be able to run my house so i said fine so the easiest thing at that point in time was to build a startup so i said okay let's build one and the area where i was uh, very keen to build was insurance distribution because i was in that space for around 20 23 years okay so during my research i found out that your startup primarily focuses on people who are not that financially strong and they are not aware about insurances and how to avail them so what was the thought process of targeting such an audience yeah so if you look at all the i have been in this insurance industry from 2020 uh, and uh, i have been part of three major uh, insurance companies when they started the insurance venture in the uh, country i was part of the setup team for three major insurance companies however if you look at all these insurance companies they cater to a certain segment of the society basically because that the cost of reaching these customers is very uh, you know limited or the premiums that they pay actually take care for the cost of reaching these customers the other segment uh, in the insurance industry which is the lower end like the bpl segment and all that that is taken care by the government so there's a large in between segment uh, who earn between 100000 rupees to 300000 rupees a year who are basically neither covered by the government schemes nor Uh, the insurance companies reach them so when i was working with this large large finance services company as a ceo uh, setting up their insurance i realized this potential the potential of this particular segment so that is how i realized okay when i wanted to build when i started to build a startup i said fine this is the segment which i want to cater to because there was no one there at that point in time okay so uh, sir you mentioned that there is a section Uh, which is uh, which is uh, which is which has not been catered by and the reason i feel is because they were not financially that strong and they did not also have the proper knowledge so how does your startup uh, sustain uh, because if you are catering that segment the profit margins are very uh, less and because it's a section which is looking for cheap insurances so how does your startup stay sustainable and affordable So, if you look at it, these are customers uh, who are available all over the place, ranging from rural, semi-urban, and urban. Uh, and majority of them now are sh- actually shifting from rural areas to semi-urban and urban areas. That is the first part. Hmm. The second part is these are people who earn between hundred thousand to three hundred thousand a year. That means their disposable income is as low as maybe thousand rupees a month. Now, for that thousand in thousand rupees, we have to fight for both their savings and their insurance plan. So the only way to reach these customers is there are certain institutions which are already working for this segment. For example, let us say 
parlay biscuit or something for a normal se- customer segment like ours maybe we buy a biscuit pack mm-hmm. which has for 20 biscuits whereas there is a uh, four four uh, four biscuit packet available for this segment Uh, the other one is, for example, Colgate toothpaste. Uh, I'm not sure nowadays. I don't go and sell, buy Colgate toothpaste. I don't know what's the price. Maybe it's around hundred rupees or something. Maybe uh, they sell it. Maybe Colgate sells a ten rupees packet to these people. So there are already institutions which are, you know, working uh, to service these segments in the FMCG and in the white goods and all that. Both in the banking or in the banking, non-banking finance companies. mfis and all this so what i realized is okay there are many institutions so why don't we ride on these institutions and reach this customer base the customer base is approximately 70 crore population which is nearly around 14 to 15 crore households in this country okay so you uh, during uh, my research and during the course of studying and analyzing your company sir uh, it also highlighted micro insure highlighted that it is a technology driven company Sir, how does your startup leverage technology? See, the only way of reaching seventy crore population, if I go through normal channels of distribution, which is maybe insurance is done direct selling or agency or bank assurance or any other model, is very difficult to reach. The cost of reaching is very high. The only way of reaching these customers is by using technology, so that the technology can actually get these customers onboarded. and that helps in reducing the cost of onboarding the customer and or selling the first product to this customer base so that is how technology technology reaches all these customers through the institutions where they are uh, you know seeking a service so that becomes easier uh, for the customer to get onboarded and to be sold the initial product and regular products from there on so both sales and servicing happens through the technology uh sir a uh, really great way of le- leveraging technology and making this product reaching a, a, uh, reaching to a lot of people that would not have otherwise uh, found it uh, and could not have afforded insurance sir you mentioned in your introduction also that you cater a certain uh, set of people your target audience is limited so what are your plans for market expansion because there do you want to venture into a section Uh, a section of people who are financially st- uh, stable who are financially strong and they have uh, sufficient knowledge of st- uh, insurance and how does it work at this point in time when we started we started in one state and now we have expanded to around around eight states eight to nine states in this nine states itself in the last 3 uh, years we have now have around 25 lakh customers Yeah, we have around 14 segments of product, and we believe that there is a tremendous opportunity across the country. You know, so but we believe that you know we have to be a profitable company along with you know uh, uh, getting in uh, lots of uh, premium and trying to support all these customers. So based on our uh, profitability, we keep expanding into other uh, areas. So my belief is in the next uh, two years we will be present across India. and this year uh, we will be present in the west and in the north along with the south that we are already present in and in one state in the east will be there so by 24 Ma- 25 march we intend to be across the country uh, uh, at this point in time yeah no no so good yeah. at this point in time when we started we used to add around 10 customers a day at this point in time we are adding around 12000 new customers a day for a single product Okay. So you mentioned that you have plans of expanding and reaching, uh, reaching your widening your customer base to across India. Sir, uh, when you do that, there will be challenges because uh, India is a diverse country and uh, certain sections uh, they are very diverse. So how do you want? How? What is your plan to overcome this diversity problem? See, one of the main important things is language. Right. So the technology that we provide at this point in time is in English, but we are working on uh, light speed, uh, you know, uh, progress uh, to see that uh, the next level of technology that means present in all the 16 languages. We want to roll it out by this year end. At least in the places where we are working, I'm sure we are going to present the technology to our customers in their local languages so that they understand it well. That is the first part. The second part is finance. Is a though uh, we are in different cultures and different religions and different religions. Finance at the end of the day is similar to everyone. 
so there are institutions which are already working as i said in my previous uh, answer that institutions are working in this segment so they are there in across all states and in, uh, uh, in some of the some of them are local and some of them are national so we intend to work with these customers uh, who are institutions which are working there and then take it to their customers using the local language so that is how it is going to help us in expanding all over the place so what you are doing is also something which will encourage prosperity and it will encourage uh, people to join this uh, fintech revolution and they will be able to afford insurance because of your startup and your and the services that you are providing sir uh, what role do you think your startup is uh, uh, having in promoting uh, a certain social upliftment See, i don't think we help them in saving or anything but certainly what i believe is at one point in time or at this point in time what we are trying to support is there is some sort of vulnerability for this sec- for this section of the society because of various you know stresses that happen in their life cycle it could be either through disease or disability or death or any natural calamity anything so what happens is when the earning member of the family actually suffers this or the family suffers the entire family gets into poverty immediately so what we are trying to do is at this point in time supporting them in not allowing them to move into poverty so that they are able to sustain their daily livelihoods so at this point in time let us say in the last 3 years we have settled nearly around 4000 claims uh, worth around 15 crore uh, you know 15 crore money so this money i believe has gone to the right people the right people who require the right insurance i think we are trying to provide that uh so you mentioned that the money has gone to the right people and this movement is really making a change sir uh, what are what is your vision for micro insure and how do you see it uh, uh, some years down the head i do believe we have an option of covering nearly around 10 to 15% of the population in this segment let us say there is 70 crore population we do believe we have an option of covering anywhere between 8 to 15 crore in that process we will be adding the market for this segment is around 100000 crores to 200000 crores of insurance if really we are the insurance industry is able to cover all these people with a insurance cover that they require it enhances the insurance penetration to around 4 to 5% of the gdp from its existing 3% so this is a new marketplace and uh, it requires its own set of processes and procedures and not uh, which are not similar to the original ones that are done to the higher segments So once we do that, then there's a lot of opportunity available. At Micro Insure, we believe that we will be in this segment only. We are not be catering to any other segment at this point in time. We are clearly focused in the micro insurance space. We will bring products and processes that suit this segment, from uh, protection to pension, including wellness. That is our uh, goal. And we believe that over a period of time, around two crore to three crore people we can cover, and in the process. will be supporting around 12 12 crore to 15 crore population because each house has around 4 to 5 members that is our aim in the next 3 years thank you sir for sharing your insights and sharing how uh, micro insure is bringing a change sir my last question to you is uh, you are offering a service and product sir why are you stressing so much on insurance why should indians consider an insurance if you could uh, just would uh, give this message because a lot of people i'm sure still do not have insurance and for bachelors like me i do not understand the importance of insurance right now but uh, going ahead i may need it so why is insurance important sir so i'll give you an example in olden days you know maybe uh, one two generations before uh, we used to all live in joint families that means the four brothers three brothers along with their families used to live with each other if something happens to one of the family members the elder member of the family or whoever is present at that point in time you should take responsibility for the family of the person who has deceased or who has any sort of disability or disease this is how insurance used to be done at this point in time we are all in a nuclear family right so when we are in nuclear family there is one person earning and maybe three four dependents on them or maybe four five dependents on them and if something suddenly happens to the earning member 
of the family suddenly the earning stops to the household once the earning stops to the household then immediately the members of that particular family go into a sort of a poverty or they have to remove it from their savings and then you know maintain their normal life lifestyle so insurance helps these families from not mm. you know uh, financial problems at a time when uh, they require it the most that is why insurance is essential for any segment of the society okay sir uh, thanks a lot sir for sharing your insights and what urged you and pushed you to getting into that into this industry and providing people with affordable insurance sir thanks a lot for coming on ties you sir and sharing your insights